74 year old Luther Johnson is alive and he says that's all that matters. I felt something nudging me, you know, like touching me. Mm -hmm. And I jumped up. And when I jumped up, that's when I smelled the smoke. Fire tore through his 59th and Chester Street home while he was sleeping. Luther lost his sight 30 years ago and has relied on seeing eye dogs. Monday night, it was two year old Yates that woke him from a dead sleep. When I woke up, I could hear him you know, jumping and prancing. So I thought maybe it was him that uh, was nudging me on my, on my right shoulder. Luther could smell the smoke and feel the heat of the fire. He knew he had to get out fast. He was able to grab his cell phone, coat and shoes and make it out the front door with Yates leading the way, just as the fire department was arriving. Angels are God's uh, messengers and workers. So he sent them. He sent an angel. And I guess with the angel was through my, you know, through my dog Yates. Luther and Yates are now staying in Red Cross housing. He's lost everything he owns, but still, if you ask him, he'll tell you this. I'm blessed. A lot of people don't make it. All night and all day, that's all I've been doing is snacking God. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, but right now Luther's family believes that it was electrical. After more than 38 years in this home on this block, Luther says he is grateful to be walking away with his life. In West Philadelphia, I'm Diana Rocco, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.